all in the technique. Get in there. Welcome guys, Sammy from Knuckleball Twins. Today I'm going to be doing a match ball test experiment video. What match ball should you guys be buying? As 100% of you are still here, hopefully, watching this video, <laughs> just like it because a lot of work goes into these videos. And if this video reaches 100 likes, I will do a test review video on the new Euro 24 match ball. I've got to buy it obviously, but I'm only going to do that if this video reaches 100 likes. So support the channel, support the dream. You guys are legends. All your comments are much appreciated as well. Let us know your thoughts from this video down below. Knuckle it. The purpose of today's video is to see if you guys have to buy a Jabulani style football to do your knuckleball free kicks or 2010 and younger. So the Asante here was from the 2010 season along with the Jabulani and the Speed Cell. Or can you buy a modern match ball, so 2020 and beyond, 2024 match balls, are they good enough for knuckleball free kicks? Stay tuned throughout the video for some top tips on how to get yourself a match ball and which one to go for. Shout out to Rocket Knuckle for today's video idea. Leave your comments down below if you'd like a specific video from us. But for now, what is the best match ball for knuckleball free kicks? Let's find out. Gone Kunzi style today in the Rabula cut boots from Mizuno. Just on that, check out our updated review on the most underrated football boots. It was a recent video from us this year. Well into the session now, I'm about to make my first point. A lot of you have probably 10 second skips, but anyway, if you are still here, well done. You're going to hear a top tip as to what match ball to go for. I would recommend a match ball that is more accessible. This is because if you are going to get or try to get a Jabulani or any match ball pre 2012, your chances are going to be limited. You are going to have more opportunities to buy a match ball such as the Nike Flight. This is because they are mass produced, they are more available in the market. You can go to a local store if you're near a sports shop and chances are you will find a Nike Flight. I actually got this from an outlet store for, I can't remember how much, <laughs> but it wasn't expensive, maybe 20 quid, so like $30. First point is that you want the ball to be accessible. You don't want to be buying a Jabulani on eBay spending 500 plus quid such as 600 dollars it turning up and it not being legit or official think about that guys if you want a match ball a lot of us do want match balls go for ones that are more accessible that's gonna hit me on the head perfect example as to why you don't need a Jabulani to knuckle All in the technique. Get in there! I just hope the camera does that knuckle ball justice. A great dead ball with a bit of dip came down towards the goal. It had enough dip luckily to hit the bar and go in rather than hit the bar and go out. Happy days. Any ranger though, but when you get one like that, it makes it all worthwhile. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, filming on the phone because the GoPro is in the goal, as you will see now.
I am going to be a hypocrite now and tell you that I fell out of love with match balls post 2012. The Tango 12 for me was the last match ball that I really had any feelings for. Not romantically, obviously, but you know what I'm trying to say. Nike footballs, since the Omni or late 2010s, wasn't a fan. The Asante that you're seeing today was my last favorite Nike match ball that they produced. I do love the Nike flight, as you know, but nothing will beat, for me anyway, match balls pre-2012. So your Team G, your Jabulani, Speed Cell, Terra Pass, all those ones, mainly Adidas. I'm an Adidas OG. For me, Adidas are better at producing match balls. But let me know if you agree or disagree. Adidas or Nike, if you had a choice as to what match ball to go for. Let me know. OG subscribers have the luxury of knowing what I use this for. If you aren't subscribed, you've got to find this video. I'm not going to tell you what I use this for. tricky conditions today. I don't mind the rain though, honestly. I'd much rather it be raining than windy. My only concern is the camera as the rain is falling directly down into the lens. I've got the waterproof cover on there. Not sure what good it's doing. <laughs> if you are enjoying what you're seeing, be sure to subscribe. It's a huge joy doing these free kicks and making videos for you guys. Unfortunately, we're not gonna box anyone for clout. What you see is what you get. <laughs> So if you are enjoying this video, subscribe for videos every two weeks. And if you want more from us, become a member. Info in the description. Look out for that. And thank you to you members already. Legends. Last bit of the review then before I finish the session with some free kicks which you're about to see. Obviously with match balls they're going to be expensive. You're paying for a top quality product. Even if you get a match ball now, say the Euro 24 ball, it's going to be at least £120, $150 roughly. So that's the type of budget you're looking to work towards. In terms of the older style match balls such as the Jabulani, the Euro Pass, all those types, they are going to be dearer. You're looking at $500 plus at least, so like 300 quid plus. Anything above that range is what you're going to have to pay if you want a match ball pre-2012. So we've covered the cost element, how much a match ball is going to cost you, and also the risk element. The one thing we haven't spoken about that is fairly obvious is the movement when striking a knuckleball free kick. For match balls that are produced 2012 and later you do tend to see that the ball moves less as opposed to a pre-2012 ball such as a Jabulani, the Euro Pass, all of those styles. The Euro 2016 qualifier ball I've got today is a quality match ball. This one here. So this was made in 2015 for the Euros in 2016. 
you do get movement with this ball, but maybe not so much as you would with a Jabulani. The other complete contrast and the final ball to compare with is a Premier League ball, for example. With the Nike Flight, you get very little sideways movement. You get more of a dead ball slash dip vibe like the goal I scored today. That's one thing to consider when you're getting your match balls. The older styles may move more, but I always stress this, the technique has to be on point. And if you want to learn a knuckleball free kick, check the description. If we get a thousand likes on that tutorial, we will then release some more secret tips. Enjoy the last free kicks to end the session. Why you stay to the end? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you agree or disagree. And click an end card if you're still here. Those are only my opinions as to what match ball you should get. So feel free to disagree or agree in the comments. Cheers, guys. See you soon. Knuckle it.